Hey, this is Carlton Cullens. I'm a personal trainer and nutrition specialist in Austin, Texas. I am also the owner of the Blue Sky Strongbox, and today is October 1st, 2009. Today I want to talk about resistance training. It's obviously a very vast topic, but I'm going to try to break it down and make, uh, make it as easy as I can and, and just simplify a few main points. Uh, you definitely need to do research and you definitely need to be cleared by a doctor before you attempt any of this stuff that I'm going to talk about. First and foremost, what is resistance training? Resistance training is simply exercises that present a challenge to the body and the muscles of the body uh, by adding resistance. That can be weight machines, it can be using weights, dumbbells, barbells, it can be doing body weight exercises such as push-ups, it can be using the exercise uh, tubing rubber bands. Any of those things are resistance training. The reason we need to do them, we need to do them because they prevent muscle loss. After the age of 25, studies show roughly around the age of 25 that we start to lose muscle if we don't do anything to prevent that from happening. So basically, if you don't do any resistance training after the age of 25, most people are going to lose muscle. Uh, you're going to lose it at about a half a pound a year is what the studies show. Uh, that doesn't sound like much, but in 10 years that could be 5 pounds of muscle. 5 pounds of muscle loss can de decrease your metabolism uh, greatly. And when your metabolism slows down, you typically gain body fat. Uh, when you lose muscle, you gain mu uh, body fat in its place. So typically people don't age uh, and gain a lot of weight because they're just because they're getting older. They do it because they're not doing resistance training or they're not doing enough resistance training. So basically the studies show that if you work out at least one time a week and work out one set to failure, to temporary muscle failure, uh, for all the major muscle groups one time a week, that that is significant enough to prevent muscle loss. Uh, what that means is um, all the major muscle groups, you can do some research on the internet, it's kind of a loaded, loaded question, but uh, th th I basically break it down into exercises for each major muscle group that perform these functions. Uh, one, a knee dominant exercise, a hip dominant exercise, a core exercise, a, uh, a vertical press and a vertical pull down, uh, a horizontal pull and a horizontal press. If you can do exercises for one exercise for each of those major movements, you're going to pretty much get all the, all, everything you've done, everything you need to get done uh, accomplished. Uh, if you do that one time a week, you will prevent muscle loss. Two to three times a week is what most people do to, to, to get toning of the muscles and to get any kind of benefit. If you're looking to make cosmetic benefits, burn body fat, gain muscle, maintain uh, strength and tone up your muscles, you're going to need to work out two or three times a week. Uh, some people split up body parts. There's lots of different ways to do it. I personally prefer, and I myself work out three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I do full body workouts. I typically do about three sets of each exercise, uh, and I do about anywhere between... 10 to 15 reps uh, for each exercise. So I do that three times a week. If you work out two times a week, try to spread it apart. Try to make it like a Monday, Thursday, or a Tuesday, Friday, a Wednesday, Saturday, something where you've got days in between. Uh, push yourself, but don't push yourself too hard. Make sure you're ready. Start off slow. Uh, there's lots of different variations. Do some research. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything else I need to talk about. Uh, Basically, just make it really, really simple. Uh, the top athletes in the world work out three or four times a week, so there's no need to more. I, when I work out, I work out no more than 30 or 45 minutes. Other workouts can be worked out. You can work out actually all the major muscle groups in 15 or 20 minutes, so don't think that you have to work out long. One time a week to maintain your muscle, two to three times a week to actually make any kind of uh, significant gains or improvements in muscle. So uh, keep that in mind. Keep it simple. Ask me, uh, ask me questions if you need to, and do a lot of research and educate yourself. I wish you the best. I'll see you next time. Bye.